Good evening and welcome to Midweek Vespers from Plymouth. I'm Hal Corpenning, the senior minister here at Plymouth Congregational United Church of Christ in Fort Collins and glad that you're with us this evening. Tonight we're going to be doing something different musically and um, it comes from a church, uh, an Episcopal parish out in San Francisco called St. Gregory of Nyssa where not only do they tend to sing without sheet music, they also dance the, the liturgy. Um, we're not gonna be dancing the liturgy tonight, so no, you don't need to worry about that. Nobody up here will embarrass themselves, um, and you don't need to embarrass yourself at home either. So um, the fellow who, who compiled most of these, Donald Schell, was the rector at St. Gregory for, for quite a few years. And uh, I first ran into this music when he and Jane Ann were doing a workshop together down in Denver on storytelling and singing. And um, we actually had planned to incorporate some of this into dinner church back when, oh yeah, we had dinner church uh, <laughs> up until uh, the beginning of, of March. And so it's nice to be able to bring some of this to you tonight. You'll notice in the bulletin that there is no um, sheet music for you tonight. So um, Blair Carpenter is going to teach you uh, as we go along. And when you sing from memory and without looking at notes and music, something different happens. It's less of a cognitive function uh, and more of a emotive function. And so I invite you just to go with it tonight and try to um, let yourself sing what you can and just enjoy the rest. Um, I also wanted to just say uh, a prayer of thanksgiving. Um, Bruce Ronda, who was playing banjo here a couple of weeks ago, had a couple of stents put in today down at Med Center of the Rockies after a, a not so great treadmill test, and uh, he's home and doing well. So prayer of thanksgiving to God for that. Will you join me in the unison prayer that you'll find in your, in your bulletin? God, God of light and, and love, as we approach, approach the darkness of night, illumine our, our souls. souls. Shine and the rays of wisdom and love into the shadowy places within us. And in the dark, speak to us in our dreams. Show us the parts of our lives that remain unseen during the daylight. Challenge us to unearth the goodness that lies underneath the hurts and offenses, the slights and the sufferings every life bears. Bring healing to old wounds and help us to have a sense of equanimity in the midst of strife. Amen. Okay, so the first one is the truest call and response song and that I will sing a phrase and you will repeat it and Hal will be the repeater in the room today. And um, this one has quite a few words but the melody is very simple. So if you didn't quite catch what I just said, then don't worry about that as much as um, you can do a little la or make up your own words or whatever you would like to do, just as long as you kind of go along with the flow and the spirit of the song, God knows and God understands. As the dark awaits the dawn, so we await your Living 
Shine your future on this place. Enlighten every guest. Joystream your holiness. Bright and blessed, bright and blessed. Bright and blessed. Come dawn, O Son of Grace. We're also really lucky to have Meg Jeffrey from the Plymouth Handbells with us tonight, not just playing handbells, but a, a different number of percussion instruments. I thought I'd share with you tonight a couple of prayers by um, an incredibly lovely woman, Macrina Wiederker, uh, who was a Roman Catholic sister um, who died earlier this year. Um, she lived most of her life in a monastery in Arkansas. And this is a, from a book um, called Seasons of Your Heart. It's a lovely book that, um, boy, I've had for probably 30 years on my bookshelves. So the first prayer is called The Prayer of a Pilgrim. And um, part of the reason I chose this is we're starting our stewardship campaign. And the theme is Pilgrims on a Journey. O Lord of the absurd, why did you birth me into being with not enough answers to fill my questioning heart. I am a pilgrim, Lord. I'm looking for a home. I'm death in search of life. I'm life searching for death. O oh, Lord of the absurd, empty me of the meaninglessness that stands between death and life. Empty me of all this unbirth. O oh Lord of the absurd, teach me how to die so that I can truly live. The second prayer is called a Sunset Vespers Prayer. Jesus, the God of the evening, has left a flaming sky. Our earth is a home for this divine artist, this painter of beauty. I cry, a thousand colors is your face embracing us with waves of grace. And as the day star now departs, your glance of light fills our hearts. Your paintbrush streaks the western skies to heal the wound of all our lies and weary hearts receive your care as all of heaven joins in prayer. The evening eye shines down on earth, a prayer for our continued birth. We lift our hearts in tender praise and give you thanks for all our days. Creator God, our hearts transform. Jesus, our Lord, Calm every storm, and spirit made of heavenly rays, with wings of fire, sweep through our days. Amen. So for the next song, I'm going to teach it to you just a short piece at a time. And then we're going to sing it all the way through three times. So the first part, and just to be clear, it's not God is a pure nothing. It's God is a pure no thing. It's a little bit different. So this is the first phrase. Second part is concealed in now and here. That's concealed in now and here. The third phrase is 
the less you reach for her that's the less you reach for her the more she will appear the more she will appear so just to so I can throw out the words one more time. God is a pure no thing, concealed in now and here. The less you reach for her or him, the more she will appear or the more he will appear. Okay. Now three times all the way through. The psalm I've chosen for tonight's service is the first psalm. And for me, it's an important psalm to hear in times of political discord and animosity when half-truths and lies sometimes carry the day or seem to. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted beside streams of water, which yield their fruit in season, and their leaves do not wither. In all they do, they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Okay, so the next one I think you guys are going to like because it's definitely the easiest one for the congregation. Because all you need to do is sing, can I have some pitches? Um, or if that's a little too low and you like it a little bit higher. Um, so let's go through those pitches one more time so you can practice and pick which one you like. It's either um, and then a little higher is um. And if you have people at home with you, one can sing higher, one can sing lower, whatever you want to do. And it's important to remember this is called a drone. And when you're singing a drone, we don't care about volume, we don't care about loud and proud, we care about smooth and steady so that you can really feel the sound waves. And it's very much like if you do an ohm in a meditation class or a yoga class, just 
nice and smooth and your breaths are deep and even and you go right back in instead of home it's home back in so you guys are going to practice the ohm and i have a fancy melody on top and then hal is going to be reading prayers in between our chanting um which i think will be really cool and you will know it is time to chant again when meg dings the chimes Okay, so let's do it one time. Take your home, home. All shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. God, you are within us, among us and infinitely far beyond us. Bless those who are sick with the coronavirus. Bless those who seek a vaccine. Bless those who work on the front lines with patients. And God rest those who have died. Bless those who ho whose homes have been lost in fires around the West, those who are forced to evacuate, and those who fight those fires. Bless our nation. May we move toward unity, toward civilized dialogue, toward justice and peace. Amen. The next reading comes from Madeline Lengel. For some of you, a very dear friend in literature. And for others, um, somebody that you, I know that a couple of people in our congregation knew her. Um, in her last year, she was a member of the Congregational Church in Kent, Connecticut, up in the, the northwest corner, the quiet corner of, of the state. And um, this is a reading that she calls universe disturbers. If we disturb the, the universe, no matter how lovingly, we're likely to get hurt. Nobody ever promised that universe disturbers would have an easy time of it. Universe disturbers make waves, rock boats, upset establishments. Gandhi upset the great British Empire. Despite his nonviolence, he was unable to stop the shedding of blood and ended with a bullet through his heart. Anwar Sadat tried to work for peace in one of the most unpeaceful centuries in history, knowing that he might die for what he was doing. And he did. Does it encourage our present day universe disturbers 
to know that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob before them were universe disturbers. And I would add that John Lewis was a universe disturber and that Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a universe disturber. Their vision of God, while undeniably um, masculine, was also a vision of a God who cared, who appeared to his human friends and talked with them. The patriarchs lived in a primitive, underpopulated world, and yet their ver version, their vision of God, the creator of all, of God who cared, of God who was part of the story, was very new. Jesus was a great universe disturber. So upsetting to the establishment of his day, they put him on a cross, hoping to finish him off. Those of us who try to follow his way have a choice, either to go with him as universe disturbers or to play it safe. Playing it safe ultimately leads to personal diminishment and death. If we play it safe, we resist change. Well, we all resist change. As small children, with our unvarying bedtime routine continuing all through our lives, the static condition may seem like security. But if we cannot move through change, willingly or reluctantly, we are closer to death and further from life. time of calm. 
Will you join me in praying the night prayer of St. Augustine that you'll find in your bulletin? Watch, O Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep tonight, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, O Lord Christ. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones. Pity your afflicted ones. Shield your joyous ones. And, and for all, all your love's sake, amen. amen. Okay, the last one that we did was the easiest. This one is by far the second easiest. So first I'm going to say the text, because it's very short. It's just yours the day, also the night. You made the moon and the sun. I'll say that one more time. Yours the day, also the night. You made the moon and the sun. And this song only has one note on a very easy rhythm. So we're going to practice that one time, and then we'll do it for real. <clears throat> it simply goes, Yours the day, also the night. You made the moon and the sun. Very good, okay. Now let's do it for real. Yours the day, also the night, you made the moon and the sun. Yours the day, also the night, you made the moon and the sun. Yours the day, also the night, you made the moon and the sun. Yours the day, also the night. You made the moon and the sun. Yours is the day, also the night. You made the moon and the sun. Yours the day, also the night. You made the moon and the sun. For the day also the night, you made the moon and the sun. Yours is the day and so the night, you made the moon and the sun. Yours is the day also the night, you made the moon and the sun. 
Before I offer you a blessing, I wanted to say a word of thanks um, to all who are here tonight, um, to Tony and Jim who are operating the camera, to, and to Dean Wallace on audio. And Dean spent a good long while today with our pals from Comcast <laughs> trying to get our internet speed back to where it should be. So hopefully um, tonight's live stream came through without the uh, heinous interruptions that you've experienced uh, over a few Sundays. So as you go out tonight, may the blessing of sun and sky, the blessing of sea and earth be with you and those you love. And may the blessings of God the Creator, God the Christ, and God the Spirit go with you tonight and always. Amen. <laughs>